what's up beautiful people it's your boy Jirio and I'm back again with a new video today we're going to be reacting to why I had to stop drinking by Gabriel Iglesias this is my first time watching this video but I know it's gonna be intensely amusing so I'm excited for it without wasting your time let's get to it see first of all any alcohol that will make you say its name is not safe <laughs> and that's the only alcohol that will make you do that that's the only one you hear people Jaeger! You don't hear anyone else. You don't hear Mexicans. Tequila way! You don't hear black people. Hennessy player. <laughs> you don't hear Japanese. Woo! Saki Saki! <laughs> Jaeger is scary Saku. for a few reasons. One, I'm type 2 diabetic. I shouldn't even be drinking, but Jaeger has twice as much sugar in it. Second thing is the consistency. It's very sticky. It's like cough syrup. So if you drink too much of it, it holds on longer than anything else. And it's nasty. When you drink it, you're like, ah! <coughs> it's horrible. <laughs> if you drink too much of it, it holds on longer than anything else. You know what I'm saying? Like if you have one too many beers, you know what happens. You get the, and then you return it to the rightful owner. <laughs> Jaeger makes you feel like you got to bring Relatable. it. Relatable. You can't. All it does is make you dramatic for 45 minutes until it lets go. You've seen someone like that? Hey, you okay? I'm fine, but help. <laughs> they can't throw up. All they're doing is six minute abs. <laughs> His special expression is every day, man. <laughs> People look at you the next day. Are you into fitness? No, I'm a drunk. <laughs> what at the same Gager day? Is scary. Another <laughs> alcohol I refuse to mess with anymore <laughs> is wine. <laughs> I, like like wine. <laughs> I like wine. I like wine. We're from Schomburg. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Schomburg is the kind of the Beverly Hills of the area, so <laughs> I'm sure you figured that one out by now. Um, my issue with wine is very simple. I don't like the fact that wine is socially accepted. And what I mean by that is that if you see someone with a bottle of wine, if you see a guy crossing the street with a bottle of wine, immediately he's judged, but in a positive way. Because wine is always associated with something high class, something positive, something progressive, an anniversary, right. a celebration, yeah. a promotion. So you try to figure it out. Hey, what do you think is going on over there? Graduation? Promotion? <laughs> it's got to be good. Hey, good for you, buddy. <laughs> Women see a man with a bottle of wine holding a couple of glasses and immediately, aww, <laughs> lucky bitch. <laughs> It's still alcohol. It yeah. will still mess you up. For real. The main reason why I don't like wine is because you cannot accurately measure wine. You can measure real liquor. It's called a shot. And you know <laughs> after drinking enough times what you can handle and what you can't handle. Because people who drink a lot love to brag about their drinking abilities. They have their drinking number, right? They have their <laughs> drinking number. You'll hear them. You know, 11 shots of Don Julio. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> They have their drinking number, <laughs> even women. After four shots of Cuervo, I am so good. <laughs> four shots is my sweet spot. What happens if you do five? I'll wake up in an alley. <laughs> what happens if you do six? That's how I met Tyrone. <laughs> See, with wine, you cannot accurately measure how much you're drinking unless you're basing it on the bottle. And if you're basing it on the bottle, then that's a whole different issue. With wine, the glasses are always different sizes. Sometimes they're big glasses, sometimes they're small glasses, and a lot of times you need to rely on someone to pour it for you. Sometimes they know what they're doing, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they fill it up too high, which is not the proper amount. Sometimes they get it just right, which is a little bit less than half of the glass. <laughs> sometimes you get that greedy bastard from Olive Garden. You know what I'm talking about, where you get that little sample, and then you have to hold it up in direct sunlight and do this. <laughs> And then you drink it, and you're like, mm, that's pretty good, I got a coupon for that, here you go. <laughs> and you never see wine drinkers 
drinking with real drinkers in dive bars. You might see them at a social gathering like this one or some corporate function, but never at a little hole in the wall. You'll never see. Jaeger! <laughs> Tequila way! And in the middle. Mellow, I say. <laughs> and this is a fantastic establishment. I truly enjoy the decor here. This is amazing. This is brilliant, I tell you. Who cuts your grass? His impersonation is just legendary. I love it. <laughs> fantastic. Uh, that's everything. <laughs> So that was why I had to stop drinking by Gabriel Iglesias. That was a very good video. I love this impersonation there, but I still like wine. You know, I drink it at a bar with people drinking tequila, beer and everything. And Sapporo, I still have my wine. Because I like wine. I was raised like that. My mom used to say wine is good for the heart. And that's how she got me into drinking wine. I don't even know if the theory is a real thing, if it's actually good for the heart. I just like drinking wine. <laughs> let me know what you guys think of that video. If you want us to bring more from Gabriel Iglesias, feel free to let me know in the comment section. This is the end of this video. Don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.